This is Austin Scott, uh, Bucks Field Agronomist for the Southern Territory. And I just wanted to take this time to give you an, uh, an update on some of the, the weeds I'm finding in the field uh, at this time. So it's about the, the third, fourth week of May here. Uh, and we're really starting to, to get good stands of corn out in the field, a few good stands of soybeans. Uh, but we're starting to get a lot of flush of pigweed too. So I wanted to take this time to give you a quick update on, on how to identify red root pigweed versus palmer pigweed. So palmer amaranth is really the one that we have to watch really closely in the south. Uh, water hemp's a, the, the close cousin that, that's just as dangerous, uh, but a lot of times you get confused between red root versus palmer, red root versus water hemp. So I wanted to take this time real quick to, to give you that update. So we've got a flush of pigweed right here, uh, and this is actually red root pigweed. So I just took and pulled one of the, the weeds here. And you can see uh, it's got that kind of olive drab green color. But really what you want to focus on with, with red root, one is the red root that you see. Uh, the second, I'm going to get kind of close. Hopefully you can see all the little hairs on the, the stem of this weed. So smooth and red root pigweed, they're, they're both very hard to tell apart right now. Uh, but they'll have these hairs on the stem that you see right there. So I found a couple of Palmer Amaranth pigweeds earlier uh, and, and pulled them. Uh, and they're starting to wilt a little bit. But you can see, looks very similar. You flip it upside down, you got that nice purple metallic color that, that kind of gives this family away. Uh, but the leaves will be very glabrous. Uh, glabrous is just a fancy way of saying waxy. All right, and then you look at the stem and that stem has no hairs on it. It's very, very clean. So that's your giveaway. And then when you when you pull it up, it'll uh, actually have a white root also. So if, if you're you're lucky enough to, to pull it up, I can't walk past a weed in the in the field without pulling it up. Uh, but but that red root versus white root actually gives it away too. But if you're just walking and looking, look for the hairs along the stem. If there aren't any, you know that's a bad one. You know you need to get in the field, start spraying then. So. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll try to give you all an update again next week.